looking at my instrument that I'm going to be working with today and looking for what reagents need to be replaced and what needs to be calibrated before I perform my QC. Many times they taught me lows are what makes you feel so high no matter how far my mind would wander I'd always dare it to go even farther cause I got Here I am grabbing my calibrator and QC out of the fridge to get ready to run on my machine. So here I am setting up my calibrator. finish calibrating my instrument I get ready to set up my QC. QC stands for quality control and this is how we test our instruments to make sure it's giving off accurate results because you want to give your doctors and nurses accurate results so they can properly diagnose the patients that are in the hospital. Um, QC is done every day and each shift has to perform QC on the instrument to make sure that it's reporting correctly. Stocking your instrument, calibrating your machine, and doing your QC, you are now ready to start running your patients. So here I'm getting my samples that um, that was held up on the line because I had the machine off to do QC. So now I'm getting ready to put those back on to run on the instrument. So as you guys can see, not all tests are performed on the instrument. Here I am performing a rapid kit test. This test here screens for HIV, which is the virus that causes AIDS. It is a single use qualitative immunoassay that detects the antibodies in the blood. And this test only takes 20 minutes.
here I am labeling my specimen with the patient information so you guys know because of laws and regulations that I cannot show you guys any patient information but I set my timer for 20 minutes and we should be good to go here I am calling some lab results to the nurse on the floor that's a part of being a medical lab tech you call the doctors or nurses if you have any abnormal lab results to report but that pretty much consists of my day I run patient uh, blood work and call alerts to the doctors and the nurses Thank you. 